Hey guys, how's it going? Scott here from Scott's Bass Lessons. Today I'm going to be talking about um, percussive ghosts and dead notes within grooves. Um, you'll have heard this kind of thing played by uh, Gary Willis and Jacko and, and that kind of player. And, and it drove me absolutely crazy when I was a kid because I was trying to learn how to do it. I couldn't really um, learn how to get it fluid enough within my playing. So I'm going to give you a couple of exercises just to sort of um, help you on your way. And in part two of this tutorial, I'm going to take you through a little groove just so you can get it under your fingers and start really analysing how, you, how you're playing the dead notes and how you're picking them out. So if you haven't heard this kind of thing before, it's literally when you're not playing a note, your left hand is dampening the strings and your right hand is playing a dead note or a ghost note. But it's within a groove, so you get kind of a, a so when I'm playing these dead notes. I'm getting them from three separate places down here but with my uh, my plucking hand or my picking hand. Okay, so the three separate places are first of all the string I'm playing on. So for instance if we take a C and just hold a C and Okay, just let's play yeah, let's just play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four. So I'm actually getting it from the string I'm playing on. I'm not moving on to any separate strings or anything like that. I'm getting it from the string I'm playing on. Okay, so a nice little exercise for this would be. Yeah, just staying on that same string with the picking hand. when you're doing this is this hand as well even though it's not playing any notes I'm releasing the pressure if I and when you release the pressure you want all your fingers on the string don't just leave one on because then you're gonna get harmonics if I do it here as well see I've got no I've only got one little finger on there but if I put the rest on get a dead note. Same here, but if I put the rest of my fingers on, so they're the dead notes from the string you're actually playing. Now you can get the dead notes from the string above as well. Okay, and, and as above, I mean the string, if we're using the A string, if we're actually playing the A string, we're gonna get the dead notes from the D string, so. same thing, I'm using the back of the fingers here to mute the D string. Okay. The third type of um, dead note you can get is from the string below the one you're playing. Okay, so I'm playing the A string the dead notes from the E string. So for these three exercises we're literally going to play two notes, two notes which will be C and then two dead notes. Okay let's start on the string that we're playing. So we're going to play the note C on the A string and we're going to play the dead notes 
on the A string. So it's simply going to be... And really concentrate on your groove and your tempo. Just keep it really solid. Maybe experiment with playing the notes quieter. But the dead notes louder. Maybe the opposite way around. But just get really comfortable with putting this hand down to get the note and then lifting slightly. Then crank the metronome up a little bit more, okay? And so on. The second exercise, exercise two, you're going to play exactly the same. So two notes on one string, two, note, two dead notes, two ghost notes. <clears throat> but this time we're going to get it from the string above, okay? So it's going to be really slowly. Playing this, I'm still taking off the pressure with the left hand, but instead of the fingertips, the fingertips are still coming off the C note and deadening it, making, um, making dampening the note, but it's actually the back of the fingers here, this slightly further down underneath here, that are, that are making the dead notes ring out. So. I'm not sure if you've looked into my raking tutorial, but if you haven't, you should do because this this technique, the raking technique, if you haven't looked into that, really do really helps with this kind of thing. Richard Bonner, Etienne Mbappe, these guys are heavily into raking, and it makes this kind of thing very fluid because you. Okay, so that was the exercise. Obviously that part there was a little bit faster. But, you know, take it easy, get the metronome on, um, start slow, crank the metronome. Make sure it feels really fluid. That's the really important thing. Okay, make sure it feels really fluid. And then the last exercise, exercise three, exactly the same principle, two notes, then two ghost notes, but this time we're going to do it on the string below. Um, okay, so, so we're going to be picking on the A string, and then over to the E string for the dead notes. Make sure here I'm kind of using my thumb. Actually, I wouldn't use my thumb in a live situation. I'd use these kind of fingers. I'd, 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 rest my, I'd get my C with my little finger, and then these fingers here will be dampening the E string so I can play the C. But I'm dampening the E string with these three fingers, so I'm getting a. Start slow. When you're doing this, you'll find as well that each <coughs> string that you choose to get your dead notes from has a different um, a different tone. The, the lower notes give a when you're grabbing the uh, dead notes or the ghost notes from the lower strings, it has a thicker sound than when you grab them from the higher strings. So depending on what you want when you're playing a groove, maybe you'd choose different strings. Maybe you'd play from different areas. Maybe you play some low and some high. 
just so the groove had a bit more depth to it. Um, look into that kind of thing. Anyway, so in our second uh, part of this tutorial, I'm going to create a little groove for you. I'm going to show you the groove. It's going to incorporate some dead notes in it, um, just so you can learn the groove and really sort of try and feel the flow. Flow is the most important with this kind of thing. It's really important. Everything's got to feel super fluid. Okay, you've got to practice it until it just feels like second nature. Um, and until then, I'll see you in the shed. Take it easy in a bit.